cook it with emotion. <laughs> yeah, treat it like it's sacred, like it's sacred. T Turtle burn. Thank you. Thank you, Alice, uh, Mel, and hello to everyone. Greetings all. Am I coming through clearly? Can you hear me? All right, that's good. So I'm going to put back on this little clip-on earring. It's a very light paper mache earring that one of our community members here made and has been passing out. And this went out at Turtle Burn 2021. I'm taking off the, the face mask. It really doesn't do anything. But this was gifted by a, a local burner here to me after our recent burn uh, when we attended uh, together a Rocky Horror Picture Show. So there's one cohort from our Turtle Burn crew who has their own camp. They do a, a wonderful production of Rocky Horror here uh, in, in Taiwan. And so that was um, part of, uh, part of the, the continued gifts of the burns and, and the community as we see each other in these kind of circles that, that overlap. So, so Taiwan's had uh, special circumstances. I didn't turn on my video to get ready to get out of lockdown and dance. Um, because we've actually had a, a pretty much our first outbreak of COVID in the past month or so. And so we're in a semi-lockdown now. Uh, the general mood is kind of nervous, but, um, uh, but hopeful because we've got vaccines uh, you know, on hand and they're working on rolling those out. Um, but what we had in the past year and a half um, was relatively little transmission at all of COVID. And so no kind of community transmission um, some limits on the largest gatherings, but basically um, we've um, been able to get together and gather. So uh, a quick update that um, in, in 2019, Taiwan had its first official regional burn. Our first official regional event was a 2014 decompression. Um, and since then, you know, people have, have gotten together, organized different events, art projects in various communities, and then talk about what should we do. And then 2019 was total burn. Um, and uh, Turtle Burn was about 120 people or so in, in the mountains overlooking the Pacific coast. Um, and, and so just uh, yeah, one ocean away from, from many of you. Um, we had uh, plans for something in 2020 that was paused um, due to COVID and, and the, the initial outbreak was to slow things down. Um, but we were able to still gather. And so we had a kind of, kind of pre-compression or guerrilla camp gathering late 2020 um, and then also a 2020 um, Taiwan Leadership Conference. And so we sought opportunities to get together some of those people with some of the momentum that came from 2019. We were able to keep going with that. Um, and so we were able to kind of sneak something out there in, uh, in 2021. We had Turtle Burn um, and we were able to do that in, in April 2021, just before this outbreak came. And so we were, we were COVID safe. We had good protocols at, at the gates with the required questions and so on, and, and making sure we made uh, all, all local requirements. Um, but so, you know, so with, that, uh, with that in mind, the mask is off here. And so this is about enthusiasm and how we've made it through. So I'm gonna share a couple of slides, a couple of photos um, from, um, Let's see. From, to get a sense of where we're at. So I, I'm, I'm showing this correctly here. We've got just the screen. That uh, should be PowerPoint slide. All right, so this is if you're looking for us, you can go to turtleburn.com. And I want to draw attention to this logo up in the corner. We've had some evolutions in the logo in a couple of, over the past couple of years. This actually has some reference to uh, the traditional Chinese character for turtle. Um, and, and so that, it, which we can, which can kind of see here after the end, this is the character for Turtle, and then this is the, how it's been pulled into the logo there. Um, so you can go to turtleburn.com to find out uh, very easily. Um, and so having this time in between, you know, rather than trying to reproduce a similar event right away, we had the opportunity to gather in small groups. And one of the things that came out of that was a, a group of artists who said, hey, let's, let's actually raise some money for some art this time around. Um, so we had a, an art auction that we had planned. We were thinking, depending on COVID circumstances, does this need to be online or in person? We were able to have this happen in person with some live music, um, some sabari uh, rope performances. Um, as well as art from you know 12 plus different artists in the community, and we um, you know earned about 2,000 US dollars that was immediately redistributed into to art and and a theme camp related projects at our Turtle Burn event. Um, we, we evolved to a new ticketing system 
uh, that uh, you know in, uh, there's still some hiccups in, uh, in terms of communication and, and getting things out there, but uh, it, uh, and the exact process for ordering tickets. But tickets were sold out within a number of hours, um, and we only have about 155 people on site, so it's still it's a small event. It's baby burn, but there's a lot of interest. And one of the you know interesting things that evolved out of this has been um, here a proof glimpse of our kind of uh, yeah the, the, the event is open not just to humans we've got uh, this cat with a kitten in 2019 on site and these people bring this cat to all kinds of events well lit and well protected as far as I can see um, but unlike any other cat I've ever met um, but we've also got this bird man at the great uh, who is uh, uh, greeting and welcoming people um, and getting people enthused um, so one thing that that evolved with some of these early kind of groups of campers who were coming together for for Turtle Burn in 2019, uh, they, they stepped up and they, they they took things to the next level. So what was Hammock Village, a kind of informal uh, smattering of hammocks in uh, these you know these Chinese fir trees here, became the Sex Swing Apocalypse Retirement Community. Um, and as you can see, everyone lounging and enjoying themselves there. And that was also the site of the uh, Dildo Derby. Uh, so somebody had mapped, ordered a number of uh, uh, vibrators that were all decorated in, in various ways, and they were uh, included a, a number of trophies. This is one of the Sex Machine Grand Prix trophies, I think, for the, the second place there. Um, so, so we have uh, these kind of, you know, very casual theme camps that uh, uh, taken advantage of the, the beautiful trees around there. One other thing um, that we did to appreciate nature was set up a sauna. So there's um, the continual flow of healthy spring water uh, straight out of the mountains. And so we had some, somebody set up rice cookers for steam and, um, and, uh, and, and tea kettles and, and we had sauna, as well as some expeditions into the mountains, into the forest. Um, we have, in addition to, uh, this is our effigy builder and a, a kind of a naturalist with a, a bit of understanding of, of the natural world. We also have a um, professor at a local university who teaches a really popular course on edible insects. And so we had people doing tours around in nature, uh, uh, having us learn about plant flora and fauna. Well, Dale, thank you. Thank you for sharing about turtle burn. And maybe you can share, if you want to learn more, Dale is going to be in a breakout session about burning on the other side of pandemic with a few others and you can dive in, in and learn more about turtle burn. Thank you so much. Cook it with the motion. <laughs> yeah, treat it like it's sacred, like it's sacred. Cook it with the motion. You gotta cook it, treat it like it's sacred. Gonna make some music together. Beautiful, it is fantastic to see you again.